we're still in our month of power strikes. Uh, we've been utilizing the rotating twist. So I'm going to briefly just walk through a few we've done out here. Rotating hammer fist, dropping out here. So marriage of gravity dropping. We've done dead hands. How to roll that out here. Give a great depth, drag him to the bottom of the lake. We've done whips. So just different ways out. This last one I'm gonna do, this is gonna be, because punch is a part of it too. So we got hammers, whips, and thrusts, our three modes or method of execution. So this particular one, I'm gonna use the same rotating twist. If I had a neutral contact, four bow, penetration, manipulation going through. But I wanna use it to get a little bit more depth. So I'm gonna use my rotating twist, drive and strike through that target. So I want a real deep strike. I'll take more time up there. Rotate and drive in. What I'm looking for when I'm doing this, I pivot. My knee will be aligned to the target. My toes are like markers. It goes toes, knees, hip, and alignment to that fist going forward. You want to go horizontal, those are all personal choices out there, but that's the idea. Stacking my body so all the weight is above and driving. So that's my backup mass on this. The other ones we've been using, mass sinking, rotating, and delivering that weapon. And this particular one, I'm gonna be doing the same thing, but I'm gonna be really getting a bracing strike on the thing out there. Going through it. This hand's ready to go, so you got places to start really delivering the power. Let's try it from the other side out here. One more time, coming out here, I'm off platform. There's your strike. The rotating twist can change angles, so if this is over here, I can just change again my alignment. Toes, knees, punch is going that direction now. All I did is just swing my foot. 12 and 6. 12 and 6 has changed, so let me change my 12 and 6. There's your strike out there. And then again, you can tax, whatever you want to come out of that place with. 